Hey everyone, see what boats are here. If you've clicked on this video, you already know what this is about. It's me reviewing a little bit of 2020. Just to start off, I mean, I've had problems not with just how 2020 with everyone affected. I've had personal problems, and like I, I mean, I'm not going to talk about them because people know in my personal life know that I'm very keep stuff close to my chest, and so I don't like sharing that stuff, especially to anyone. So like only certain people know. So. I'm not going to share it to the world right now. Um, maybe in five years if I'm still doing this, which I hope I am. I wanted to make a video to show my goals for 2021. People in my life who know me very well know that I'm not a person that waits for the right time or the right set date to start doing something. I'm a person that if I think about wanting to do something, I'm like, all right, I'm giving myself a week or we're starting right now. And I really do stick by that because even though this is being um, posted on New Year's Day, for the even though this is being posted um, New Year's Day, this is being recorded um, actually a month from New Year's. So hopefully I don't have to add anything else. Um, to clarify whatever because editing <laughs> I'm not a person that makes New Year's resolutions so this isn't my New Year's resolution this is my goals for 2021 that I have already started doing I've already started writing I've already started um, scripting for certain things and have certain placeholders for certain things as of right now I'm somewhat ready for 2021 however there's always a possibility a wrench gets thrown in there. Don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, before I get into what are my goals for 2021, I want to look over all the things I'm thankful for for 2020. And yeah, there's a lot of things that I'm glad for, not just in my personal life, but also for YouTube purposes. One big thing for sure was that I got to collab with someone and actually multiple people, not just like being able to play with um, some of my family and record some stuff with them, I was able to record with a friend who has their own YouTube channel, um, Vic the Gaming Chick, and some of the people she knows. And obviously I wish I was able to record more with them and be able to do stuff, but my life schedule is kind of crazy, so I can't be doing that all the time. I would like to be able to do that more in 2021 for sure. Um, which I'll get more into that once we get around it. Um, another thing I'm thankful for is just being able to see my subscribers go up to more than 200. I was not expecting that. My goal for this year, which I didn't tell anyone personally, was to make it to hopefully like 100. So doubling that was very surprising personally. Um, another thing I'm thankful for for 2020 is that I've been able to was that I got so much feedback from people and the game creators even like for um, Unbeliever like poor lot just randomly came in one of my episodes and commented was like really like it like I, I, I'm glad you're enjoying it and I was just like what just randomly you're gonna come find my videos that one barely have like at the time five views being able to do that and then being able to see like I don't even know if it's posted yet one of his games which is cyborg um, boogaloo which I review I didn't review I tested one of his um, demos for and enjoyed it so much and the thing is I probably would not have found that if he didn't reach out to me first and then I found him more long being able to um, see other people recommend like, hey, you got an OP version of um, Strike Force Heroes, which apparently a lot of people liked. But another thing I'm thankful for is just like the support I've been given. Because there, there are probably a few times where I was just like, I probably should just like douse down. Because originally I wasn't planning on posting every single day. I was planning on going from my once a week to twice a week to maybe three or four, three or four times a week. But now it's like five times a week every week um, and I wasn't expecting that I was expecting to just gradually get into that especially in 2021 but with all the time I've had to a certain point it just came naturally and also just being able to record with certain people I was just able to backlog so much and I was just like I might want to post this early because if I 
do the method I was going to do, I'll be set for 2021. I'm going to get into the goals that I have for 2021, which I've somewhat already started and have planned, stuff like that. But one, I want to keep videos every weekday so that it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, except for exceptions of special projects in the sense of like something that I feel like I need to post right then or whatever. It'll be either a double post that day or it'll be posted on the weekend, which most likely will be Saturday. Also, like I said earlier, hope to play with more guests or just anyone that wants to collab. Uh, you stick with me this whole entire year. You found I built the, you know, I built the upside down, the um, Central Perk Wally down there, and I'm hoping to be able to build four more, which I already have one ready to be built. It's ready to be built. Also, I was only able to make one this year, in which it wasn't even that good, but it was um the programming of the Wii Remote, and I was like, oh, my plan is to make or try making a mouse with it without having to look at it like other people's forms, in which. I have. I've already made it. I had it backlogged like a good two weeks after posting first one and I don't know why I decided to put a like, oh, make sure this video gets 300 likes. I think that was the actual number. Some people were just like, dude, that's kind of too high for your channel right now to get 300 likes. And I was just like, I want to see what happens. I want to test the people that are viewing my videos right now and see what happens. But at the same time, the people that did watch it, I got feedback saying that that was their, one of their favorite videos recently. Um, so I really am hoping to be able to do probably at least three. I, I have three planned. However, one of them is probably going to be very pricey. So it's probably going to be near the end of the year. I, I have to save up for it. So we'll see. I, I'm still deciding because I'm probably going to go back and change the last one because I think I named it um, Make It instead of like because it fits in the series of Build It, Make It. Um, so I might make it or call it Pro Program Programmed or something like that. I don't know yet. That's still something in the works of figuring out. Also with the random videos I made this year, um, one of them was the um, loading screen. I'm hoping to be able to do more of those random videos and editing stuff in which I have five scripted and I have three other ones I'm thinking about but I'm still trying to figure out ways to script it if that makes sense um, so look out for those those will probably be on weekends for sure getting to the point especially my goals for this year for sure is to be able to just not make this like oh you guys are entertained by me is that you guys are entertained by something I enjoy, something I like doing, something I will, it's part of my life. And I mean, that's the whole point of this is that it's just showing my hobbies to you guys. I want to be able to continue doing this. I want to be able to start doing stuff with you guys to one, like see the creativity and hobbies and stuff you guys do on the regular and hopefully be able to give you guys like an outlet and possibly be able to work with you guys even more in the future and just see what happens. Along with that, I actually have two main projects I'm not going to say the titles for or anything like that, um, but they're two separate things. I've gotten the works of what I want to do. One of them I'm not fully committed for yet, the other one I'm fully committed for and ready to start recording, I just have to buy some more supplies for, because I want to at least, with those two projects, one of them for sure, I really do want to start making, and there's only like one thing that might keep me from doing that, and I'm praying that it doesn't come to fruition, but back to um, being able to work with you guys, and be able to share and collab with you guys, especially, the, the best way to be able to do that is to share like and comment and subscribe like it, it works it really does work my my main goal this year is that i wanted to get to 100 subscribers and originally my goal was oh maybe hit 500 this year if i'm lucky but now i'm like no you know what let's let's go for the long mile Let, let's 
see my limits. I'm going to try going for a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, or of 2021, I should say. And yeah, it's a big leap. That's the big thing I have to deal with for a goal to make sure, one, you guys are entertained and stay entertained with, once again, my hobbies, my creativity, and just stuff I enjoy that hopefully you guys will also still enjoy. But also that comes on to you to make sure you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. But with that, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of things. I mean, yeah, here you go. Just a summary of everything I just talked about. I'm hoping to make that all possible this year in 2021. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And let's now get through 2021 and see where it leads us. See ya.